Welcome to the October 16th edition of the Sideline View here from the Hockey House, downtown Brainerd. And uh, Jeremy, you've uh, had a chance to experience some inclement weather the last couple days. A Friday football game last week at Pine River, and yesterday you got to be outside in just a lovely day for the cross-country meet. So why don't you tell us about those two outdoor adventures of yours? I got half my arc done, so we're, we're good to go. I just got to collect some animals. But uh, yesterday's cross-country meet, the Central Lakes Conference uh, meet over at Forest View Middle School, uh, it was cold. It was rainy. It was wet. It was it was windy. It was you name it. It was. I'm I'm sure there was some sleet, but I, I, luckily I missed it. But uh, yeah, it was it was a very cold and and not ideal weather for spectators. But then uh, you talk to the kids and like, oh, it was great weather. So I, I don't. I, I good for them. Bad for us, I guess. <laughs> Uh, Brainerd boys finished fifth. Warrior girls finished fourth. Uh, we had Brainerd had three All Conference runners: uh, Sarah Yeh, Allie Crochet, and Petter Smith. So uh, congrats to those. And um, on Friday, I was up in Pine River, and it just poured on us on fourth quarter, a little bit in the first half, and then the fourth quarter it just drenched us. So again, my papers were just a. Uh, like a soggy a, mess. Soggy mess. Thank you. Pine River won that. Uh, a nice connection between Brandon Major and his quarterback Zach Struess. They connected for four touchdown passes in, in that type of weather, and so congrats to them. They're uh, they've only lost one game. They're six and one. Then they got a big game against Pillager today, so that'll kind of do. Kind of, you know, if if they they've already clinched a, a co-conference championship, but they're going to go for the all right title tonight. So if they can beat Pillager, who they lost to twice last year. It'll be good luck for them. Maybe the weather was why our computer system went down too. I don't <laughs> yes. know. We had a w unbelievable time. Of we're lucky we got a paper out that day. So somehow we did. It always happens somehow. But major problems. Anyway, I was up in uh, Moorhead on la last Friday for Brainerd's game. Uh, tremendous comeback. I mean, they were down twenty nothing at the half. Had two first downs. Thirty totally yards and just looked like they were kind of dead in the water there and literally and that was it was really a high wind um and uh, the, the it rained before the game and then stopped during the game but it was just a muddy mess and got down to uh uh, Moorhead missed an extra point during the during the first half, and Brainerd came down tied at 20-20 with about a minute and 13 left, I want to say. And then um, Logan McElfresh missed the extra point, still got overtime. Moorhead took uh, three downs, kicked a field goal on the fourth down, so it's 23-20. And in high school, you uh, every team each team gets four downs in an attempt to score from the 10, and if you don't score, then obviously the other one does, and you lose. While well, Brainerd scored on their first play, went right up the middle. Connor Gessel was just, I don't know if he was even touched. So it's 26-20, uh, just a marvelous comeback, and uh, just seems like a um, program of many through the years. So that was a great win tonight. They have Grand Rapids. Um, all kinds of things here. They win tonight. They'll probably be the number one seed in the Section 75A. They'll get home field advantage all the way through the playoffs. They'll be the North Division Central Lakes Conference champions and be unbeaten. So um, First round bye, too. And a first round bye. So lots of, lots of – they just win tonight. Um, I think all those things will fall into place for them. So – People argue that that maybe a loss is a good thing. It kind of you know refocuses the team. But uh, I'm I'm not one of those. I think uh, you just went out and you don't have to worry about losing. Uh, yeah. uh, but a game like that where they they almost lost, they had to kind of figure out who they were and come back. How how, how beneficial? Do you I think that that's was? huge, and especially the week before too. Even though it was regulation, they came from behind to beat Bemidji 24-20, I believe it was. And you know this, I mean, obviously this time was a little different. They were ahead against Bemidji the whole way, but at crunch time, I mean, they re that really shows me something. I think if you're behind like that and you find a way to win you know i agree with you i mean you know sometimes maybe a loss does somebody some good i don't know but i think for the most part i mean you have a couple of comebacks like that that's that's uh, better for you than than lose one and then come back from that so tonight uh, you have um crosby at aiken yeah. uh, how do you in football and how do you see that one going for the stomp trophy uh, crosby's kind of had a handle on it the last couple of years but aiken's really good this year uh they they were ranked in class 3a uh i think they got beat last week by hermantown which is also ranked in 4a so not a bad loss there but uh, it's, things are turning around. They have a new head coach. Uh, well, we'll talk to him for the first time tonight, and uh, we'll see how that goes. I, I you know, I, as as a former Ranger, I'm kind of hesitant to say, you know, Aiken will win. So I won't say anything. <laughs> also, um, want to uh, mention the swim team finished their regular season unbeaten last night in dual meets. That should give them the CLC dual meet title if there is such a thing, and yeah. it's kind of a mythical thing. And um, CLC volleyball continues to roll, still ranked number two in uh, Division Three. 
and then the football team from CLC moved up to 13th in the national rankings here too. So um, lots of good things happening. Um, Sarah Winterstrand gets a hundred career wins. Hundred career wins. Beth Ederman sent her a school record in diving. So um, lots of uh, great achievements, and uh, it's been really fun to follow all those things. So. It's been a good good fall so far. It has. It has. Um, anything else? I'm good. All right. We hope to talk to you next week from the Hockey House. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.